Hello everyone, it's me again. Back in Space Engineers again. We're on the planet Earth this time. And before I begin, I'd like to apologize for the lack of videos last week. I was busy trying to get this project up and running. The AI is a little tricky for me at the moment, but I'm still learning. Well, now the way, I'd like to introduce you to this fella. It's called the Drone Deployment Pod. It can be used as either a satellite in orbit to store a portable base filled with weaponized drones or you can keep it on you can keep it near your base which will allow you to park it as an outpost somewhere and then take it to hang on, it will allow you to take it to an enemy stronghold just outside its border detach it from there at which point you can fly this part of the base back if you have it in space mode, as a satellite up in orbit, keep it just above the gravity so it still can be pulled into the Earth or the planet that you want it in. This part will detach, parachutes will automatically deploy, and this part will remain in orbit for either collection later or for when you put this back into the planet, back onto the satellite. With that out of the way, let's have a look on the inside. It is completely sealed and is self-sustaining, mostly. We will have one to connect solar panels to it if you need to turn it into a base for long-term use. But it is mostly designed for temporary combat usage. That out of the way, it does have an assembly and a refinery. A little break room. Beds, toilet, the jukebox. On the top half, a little greenhouse, workstation, and an armory, because this is for combat usage, if anything else. To get it into the, into orbit, you use this control station, disengage parking, and go into orbit. For the time being, I'm not going to do that. Well, it can go into all, but most of my creations can. For the time being... For the time being, it will stay on the ground. Now, the main thing is this, isn't it, Cycle? It is a drone deployment pod. As you can see, each side holds six of my combat drones. They're designed to be slim, sleek, and armed, but they can be mass-produced. The only downside is that they're not heavily armored. Their main defensiveness is their ability to be mass-produced and deployed in a swarm tactic if necessary. This one pod can hold up to 24 drones. Each one is designed exactly the same as the other. For the sake of what? For the sake of demonstration, I've pulled one out and copied it. As you can see, as you can see, it is atmospherically powered, armed with four missile system, armed with two missile systems and two Gatling guns, with a reverse camera, front camera, medium cargo container for ammunition storage, small batteries, small cargo containers. Its main power source is three nuclear reactors. Like I said earlier, it is all of them are AI. This is why this thing took a lot longer than I care to admit. So you can have it follow you. Why did I? Here it is. Here we go. Sometimes it takes a minute, but these things can follow you around in the combat should you need to. Or, should you feel the need to, you can remotely control them as well. You will need to turn off the AI, so. Like 
think. I have broken tradition just a little bit, as these drones do not have a self-destruct mechanism. with the remote control system. Now onto the fun part. I'll be doing a demonstration. That old fortification of mine will be the target. To activate the drones, well, first things first, let's get rid of the thrusters on top. For the time being, let's just engage the bottom thrusters. Like so. Figure out how jetpacks work. Hit the merge locks. That will kick that off. That should hopefully go away. Although knowing my luck, it's going to smack into the back into the base. Now to activate the drones, you go here. You turn on the basic. You turn on the follow me command, you switch on the combat system, you switch on the flight, you open the doors, but we've already done that. And after that you switch the connectors off. If you just switch them to lock, to lock off, they will still try and connect with the drones, which will lock them in place, unfortunately. These things should putter on out, but they are a bit slow. And possibly a little dumb. Up here, we have our own personal craft. I don't have a name for it yet. So if you've got a name for it, leave it in the comments. I'll attempt to name it. Much like the drones. They are atmospheric, this thing is atmospherically powered, powered and is armed with three Gatling guns to however and two missile systems and can be remote controlled if you need it to. Now with that out of the way, let's give these drones a combat test. That. Meteor storm inbound. Well, to do that, we're going to switch this entire base over to pirates. Like so. And to finish it, we switch the pirates. In theory, it should mean that we see the pirates. for base
Okay. That's not good. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. some more turrets. Obviously, for some reason, some of them won't do what they're told. But as you can see, it's more than enough to get the job done.